The big question is this, have you ever seen an image and there is a segment of the image that shows three things come from one same location? This is really fascinating because looking at what we have from the new image coming from James Webb Telescope, we can see some fascinating characteristics that is just that, a scene triple and seeing triple <laughs> looks at this particular location which is the galaxy cluster which is really massive and is designated to be rx j2129 and due to a specific phenomenon known as gravitational lensing this allows us to see three different images from the same supernova hosting galaxy and so looking closely at the details you can notice that this is really fascinating in terms of the different looks of these images from the same supernova and this here allows us to study the behavior of supernovas in real time and with the help of gravitational lensing we can analyze various interesting behaviors based on the symmetry the look and also what impacts does this have in our understanding of the universe now this massive galaxy cluster is 3.2 billion light years away from earth is in the constellation aquarius and this supernova in this particular cluster was first detected by by the Hubble Space Telescope and it is classified as type 1a supernova and yes a type 1a supernova is when a white dwarf explodes after it gained a lot of mass and this mass is gotten from another star now this is going to show a really bright take on it and Definitely, astronomers will have to figure this or look at it as a point of interest because the brightness of this supernova allows us to measure its distance in space. Now, one interesting point I was made about the use of this supernova is how powerful and uniform its luminosity is and this impacts the whole entire galaxy based on this image right here in terms of magnifying the background objects in those galaxies, mainly the galaxy cluster. So, in addition to this, this enables any form of distorting of images of background due to gravitational lensing to be showing the distant galaxies or objects how this brightness or luminosity of supernova influences the gravitational lensing calibration technique for visualizing distance galaxies in a galaxy cluster like this now in terms of the image description here it says that skies and galaxies in shades of white and reddish orange are scattered around a dark background now larger stars resemble snowflakes due to its eight pointed diffraction spike patterns now the galaxies come in an assortment of sizes and shapes spiral arcs blobs and dots now in the upper right corner there is a foreground galaxy cluster with a diffuse white glow now behind the cluster are galaxies that have been magnified and distorted and also multiplied due to the shared mass and gravity of the cluster, an effect known as gravitational lensing. One of these magnified galaxies is of note to astronomers. It appears three times in the upper right corner. Now this galaxy looks like a tiny orange spiral that other tiny orange or white light sources right next to it. Now in the middle is the oldest image which has multiple light sources in it which are depleted here as white and orange. 
a small orange dot is labeled as AT2022 RIV. It is a supernova. The bottom box has light that is 320 days older and there are three light sources. The top box is about a thousand days older than the middle image. There are two light sources there. Now the brightness of this supernova was measured using the Webb's near infrared cameras and also looking at the spectroscopy of the near infrared spec. This allows us to compare data to other known supernovas that are at the nearby universe. So overall i hope you found this information relevant in terms of exploring the impact of supernova due to the presence of gravitational lensing and how these three images are shown right here shows you a bright take on how this results shapes your understanding of behavior of white dwarfs and how their brightness can impact such understanding of supernova in any nearby galaxy all the same found this really informative hit a comment down below let me hear your thought about this but that way we can talk to you soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves